All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lenwood Jackson. I'm here at the International Boxing Hall of Fame, and we're uh, having a, grip, a blast. And I just ran up on Mr. Jules Jackson, a waterweight champion of the world, and he was a knockout artist. I know you guys are familiar with him. Jules Jackson, how you doing, brother? I'm doing great, man. Um, you know, my son is Julius Jackson. I'm Julian Jackson. Julian Jackson. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's a, just a tremendous uh, privilege for me to be here, you know, in Carasota. Um, this is my first time here to the International uh, Hall of Fame. And um, I tell you what, I feel right at home. Yes, yes. And are you tr are, are you training your son? Yes, I'm. I'm training um, both my son. Uh, you know, uh, Julius Jackson, who's uh, he's a super middleweight. You know, 168 pounds, and uh, right now he's undefeated. You know, and uh, a tremendous uh, uh, boxer. You know, he loves to box. He loves to. You know, get in there and trade off, and um, he can take a good punch. And um, you know, it's, it's it's just an exciting thing to see your your kids. You know, I would say taking the baton and going with it now. You know, absolutely. And um, you know, the the good thing about it is that they respect the sport. Yeah. And I feel that the sport will respect them because of that. Absolutely. And um, uh, I'm a, a living testimony of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank God uh, for the opportunity to be here. I mean, um, uh, it's amazing to see all the champions in this one. You know. In, in one place and uh, the sparks are coming back in their eyes you know yes, yes. and I think that uh, this this is something that boxing needs and uh, to keep the sport alive and I, I believe that the sport is making a, a comeback yeah you know and uh, with what's happening today it's tremendous and uh, again you know it's just a, a tremendous opportunity absolutely well you are a great champion tell us a little bit some of the memorable fights that you had in the ring oh man uh, one of my, my most memorable fight uh, I, I guess was um, Terry Norris yeah you know the upcoming uh, fighter young strong you know and uh, was able to uh, you know knock him out in the third round yeah uh, I remember a, a, a very noticeable uh, fight as well uh, was uh, Buster Drayton yeah yeah when I, I caught him with a punch and I, I you know I made the I, I literally told him where to fall <laughs> it was like almost a tree I know you were, you were killing him knockout artist yeah and um, you know there's a lot of different fights that I've had you know mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the the fights that really make me mm -hmm. was when I fought um, Mike McCollum in Miami yeah and I lost that fight yeah. but that fight made me you yeah. know and um, sometimes you'll be surprised you know a loss can actually be a win for you mm -hmm. and uh, that loss was a win for me and it, it caused me to really find myself and understand certain things God came into my life mm -hmm. after that fight mm -hmm. you know and uh, went on and actually became a world champion after that fight absolutely and you are a Hall of Famer yes um, also was inducted in um, the Hall of Fame over in um, California yes and, and along with Mike McCullen and Terry yes. Norris you yes. fought big time uh, uh, champions and you and you now you're training your son yes. to get there as well and and it, there's this actor taking our picture over it I'll tell you it just doesn't get any better than this what do you think about the fans here at the International Box Hall of Fame oh man I, I think it's incredible you know um, the, like I said um, boxing is, is, is really alive here in Kenesota and uh, just actually celebrate um, you know, boxing here again is, is something that uh, I think a lot of fighters miss, and uh, this tend to bring back a lot of memories. You know, and um, I'm glad to see Ernie Shavers and uh, you know uh, 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 Leon, you know, Leon all, Spinks, Spinks, Marvin Hagler, Marvin Hagler and oh, uh, you got all the, all the young and the young fighters as well. You know, fighters that are still you know involved in in, in actually uh, competing and. Um, it's, it's just a, a tremendous, um, you know, opportunity and it gives you such a, a tremendous feeling and um, yes. boxing, the spirit of boxing is still alive. Yes, yes, absolutely. Dad, do you have any advice you would give to the young folks, up and coming boxers? Oh or man, -boxers, you sport? better believe it. Um, I, I really believe that um, anything you get into, you know, you have to have uh, respect, mm -hmm. um, you know, for the sport of boxing mm -hmm. and um, for anything really, you yes. know. I, I think your attitude towards the sport that you're in, towards whatever you're involved in, business, no matter what it is, you know, you have to have some level of respect, you know, and the, and the more I think you respect that particular, uh, uh, you know, sport or, 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 or career that you have, yeah. I really believe that you're going to, it's going to respect you and, uh, and eventually you're going to be, become somebody, you're going to make a name. You know, irregardless, and I think that's what 
you know, I did. I was able to respect the sport, yeah. and the sport has respected me. And I, I, I tell you what, you know, uh, even though I, I, I may not have made the millions of dollars like they're making today, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I tell you what, I really believe in my heart, you know what I mean, that it did something to, for me as a person, you know, and I've learned to live, you know, with people. I've learned to meet different types of people and understand that, you know what, we're all in this, in, you know, we all in this thing together. Right. And uh, God, you know, yeah. I believe is, is, is the one that guides us. And once we follow that, you know, that, 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 that basic principle mm -hmm. is to respect each other and humble ourselves, I think we're going to go a long way. Absolutely, Chair. Yeah. Well said. Now, I, I was talking to your son earlier, and he was telling me about uh, the uh, uh, technology out here that's available today. Um, uh, what do you think about technology as, as it pertains to boxers and the sport? Um, well, well that, you know what? I, I realize today, you know, you have a whole different... Uh, I think um, breed of fighters that are now uh, promoting. Mm -hmm. You know, you have fighters that are actually boxing, and they are the promoters. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You right. understand that's that? Right, that's right. Bernard and, uh, Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins, uh, De, La De La Hoya. You know, you know, you have Floyd Mayweather, right. who has made uh, a, a history. You know, yes, yes. Uh, the high speed athlete right now and um, it's amazing and I, I think it all has to do with technology as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a lot of these guys are selling themselves you know not in a in a negative way but in a very positive way you know and um, it is something that uh, I think it, it has taken boxing to a next level yes sir raising the bar mm -hmm. now, That's right. now you know you said earlier how much you love your fans and you know your fans love you tell us uh, is there any way we can contact you are you out in social media like Facebook or Twitter well um, I'm Facebook Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, we have a promotion back home in the um, in my country in the Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. You know, it's called 340 Promotion, and you can get on the website. Yes. You know, 340 Boxing, and uh, you know, check us out. 340boxing.com. Yes, 340boxing.com. I, I can give you a, a card as well. Okay. And um, you know, we invite anybody to you know check us out and uh, see what's going on in the sport of boxing in the Virgin Islands. In the Virgin Islands. You better is believe that it. That's where your son is training at. Right yes, now. that's I where know he's training. You're training at. him, and his training camp is in the islands. Yes. It doesn't get any better than the Virgin Islands. Oh. Hey, Chan, we appreciate you taking time out and speaking with us. And uh, uh, here at the International Boxing Hall of Fame, we hope that you come down here again, and uh, we'll certainly be checking out your website and we wish you luck well we know you're good at, but uh and your son yeah as well uh in his future boxing endeavors thank you very much man it's been a pleasure god thank bless you. thank you